Um, <laughs> Alright guys, uh, welcome to the Deep Broken Com tutorial. I just forgot to record the first 10 minutes of me making this, so let me just tell you what, to, what you need to do. So, first of all, uh, you need an animations folder in Replicate Storage with another folder inside of it called Sword and then three animations. The first equip animation, then an item animation, and then an unequip animation. Yep. Then you need the modules folder, awesome replicate search, and create a new module and call it animations. This is just uh, for myself because <laughs> I made this map, and yeah, <clears throat> so you don't need to have that. And you need to have an, um, a new tool in Starter Pack. You just have a simple sort. Yeah. Okay, now let's continue, but with my voice. Alright, so. I was just scripting this, and I let you some time to copy this. Alright, so local, um, let's just define all our animations. So local animations, uh, local equip, oops, animation is sort animations, wait for child, and equip, oops, equip, then we can just copy this three times, call one unequip animation, and call one idle animation. Alright. Uh, let's create another section and call it animation uh, pool values. And here we're just gonna have um, a quick animation like that. It's no. Then an unequip animation that is no, and an idle animation that is no. Okay, it's actually not really a bool value, but let's just call it animation values. Okay, then let's add this our first function. We just need our character, I would say, and our humanoid. Or we can actually just we actually just need the character. And then we can get our human head in here, so character wait for child human. Okay. And then here we can simply just do overture. I need to do something else first. So let's create another function, but that's a local function and call it stop all animations. And what we're gonna do with this, right? 
stop all animations. So we are just always going to check if and equip animations. Equip animation exists, then we are going to stop the equip animation. Same with the unequip and the idle animation. Alright, and then we're going to call this new function just here. Or let's even call it at the top. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, so now let's actually uh, assign our equip animation. So the equip animation is uh, humanoid load animation. Oh, let's actually do humanoid dot animator. Let's actually do that here. So our animator is oops humanoid wait for child animator. Alright. So animator load animation and then our animation that we want to load. So our crop animation. And then simply just play the animation. Okay. And let's do the same for our unequip. Okay, like this. And change this to unequip animation. Wait. Uh, yeah. I wait no long. This one. And but change this to an equip animation like this. Okay. And now let's actually create a new script inside of our start. And we are gonna create a south sided script. So lo oh, local tool is script parent. I like to do it with lowercase letters, so cool. And then tool.equip commit function. So when we equip the tool, uh, we first need to get our replicated storage. So again, get service replicated storage again. Let's put this at the top. And then we also need to uh, get our module, require our module. Uh, so local animation module is a cryer, replicate storage, wait for child uh, modules, wait for child animations. Alright. Oops. Okay. Um, so then we're gonna do animation uh, animation module dot equipped equip and uh, our character but as you can see we don't have a character yet so we need a character first you can actually uh, do it really simple so uh, let's say um values and we have our character, character value, actually let's just call it just character, so character is no, uh, but if you equip it, we know that our character is our script's parent, as our tool's parent, because our character is holding the tool, and from the unequip, Um, function. We can pretty much copy this, but change to uh, our character to nil again, because we don't actually know the character anymore, or we are not sure, and um, change this to unequip. 
and let's actually put, put our character in here. Okay, uh, let me fix that. All right, now let's actually try out our script. Okay, um, yeah, as you can see, it actually works. But we don't play the idle animation. And okay, there's something wrong. Ah, I see. I see. Uh, the, we are already moving our character. We probably even could uh, send it to our module script. So put it after that. Um, and now let's actually also play our idle animation in some way. We can actually do it like this. So let's go into our equip animation and let's add a new event and call this event equipped. Let's publish this animation again. Put our ID in here, okay. And then we can go into here again. And now let's see here. Web animation that he frame reached signal uh, connect function. I think it was just keyframe reached. Yeah, could be wrong, but let's see. Then our keyframe. So if keyframe is equipped. Then we want to play our idle animation. So we can actually even already load our idle animation here. So let's do idle animation is our uh, idle animation here. And then play our idle animation here. And I play. <laughs> okay. And uh, not this one, this one. Okay. And we can actually do the same for unequipping. Um, so, I know we don't even play any animations uh, anymore after unequipping. So we don't need to do, do this and we already stop our um, idle animation here. Okay, let's try this out uh, again. Um, as you can see, it actually works. Okay. Um, this is nearly also gonna be part one already, but I just wanna add some small things. So let's create a new folder in a uh, sound service, call it fix, and create a new folder and call it sound. And then we're gonna just search some a quick audios. Okay, this sounds already good enough. So let's call it just equip. Uh, change some properties how you like to name everything as you want and if you have your sounds go into your script get uh, um, uh, what's, what was it called sound servers 
uh, yeah, I like to remove just yeah some service. And it's also quite a new section. I select folders or folders in our script. And let's do local uh, SFX for a folder that is sound source, right for child, SFX. And then we can also be more specific for our sort sound folder. Well, actually, sort FX. F fx folder sfx folder so SF uh, sfx folder with a child sort and then we can um, simply uh, play the sound from our character so local um, equip sound is uh, sort fx folder, wait for child, equip, clone it, parent it to the, uh, actually parent it to our character, um, human admin part, and then play the equip sound. And then we also need to the debris servers, who destroy our uh, equip sound after one second as an example so debris servers add item then our equip sound and for one second just copy this put it under here and change the equip to unequip and you can also also change the name all right then Uh, yeah, this wraps up the first video of this little series. Oops, we can try it out if it works. But it should. Yep, you can hear it. It's not very loud. Okay, this was loud. Ah, uh, yeah. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna be making some slashes probably. And yeah. And see you in the next tutorial. Until then, have a, uh, have a great day. Bye.